We all know that New England dairy farms produce great tasting, wholesome milk. But how do they do it? We're going to visit some dairy farms to find out. Almost all New England dairy farms are family owned and operated. And they work hard every day to preserve the land and protect the air and water. A lot goes into producing high quality milk. Every dairy farm operates a little differently, but no matter the size of the farm, it all starts with the care and comfort of the cows. Let's look at some of the things farmers do to make sure their animals receive the best care possible. It's very important, I think, to be a farmer. You have to have that passion to care for the animals and care for the land to keep the animals healthy, healthy and happy. Treating cows with respect and compassion is a top priority. Dairy farmers provide their cows with access to food and water 24 hours a day, along with clean, soft bedding. Comfortable cow bedding can include sand, wood chips, recycled shredded rubber, or even mattresses. Cow comfort is important. I don't think that has changed other than we've found better ways to improve cow comfort. If she's comfortable, she's clean, she's laying down chewing her cud, these are all good signs. Cow barns let in fresh air and sunshine. They provide shade and protection from the wind, cold, or rain. The barn is fully shaded. Um, we have three big fans in there running at all times during the summer, keep them nice and cool. During the summer, many farms also use a system of spray misters to keep the cows cool and comfortable. One of our main goals here at the farm is providing an environment for the cows that provides for the best health possible for the cows. What you put in is what you get out. If the cows are comfortable and they're healthy, their return to you is, is much better. Farmers work with dairy nutritionists who recommend science-based balanced diets of hay, grains, protein sources, and other vitamins and minerals. They also work with veterinarians. We have a pretty regimented herd health program with our vet. She's here every two weeks to do health and repro work on a day-to-day -day basis. We set up schedules and protocols and what we want to do and they're followed. Cows sure have a comfortable life, but how does milk get from these happy cows to your kitchen table? Let's head into the milking parlor and see where it all begins. Farmers milk their cows two or three times a day. So the milking process, this occurs three times a day. So as cows come in, I'm going to prep, I'm going to prep the cow with uh, an iodine free dip on their udder to disinfect it, kill any bacteria that might be on the teat ends. And I'm going to wipe the cows uh, dry and clean with a, a cloth towel. And we're going to attach the milk. And the process of actual milking takes approximately five to six minutes and the cow is milked. When the cows are done being milked, they're free to eat, drink, exercise, or just relax. All right, as the milk is harvested from the cows, it comes into our, our milk room, where it's in the vertical tank is where we start. And then it's pumped through two filters. It's then transferred into a plate cooler, which actually takes the milk from 100 degrees and puts it down to about 60 degrees instantly which then goes right to the storage tanks. And then from there, the final cooling process takes place. Depending on the farm, a milk truck arrives either daily or every other day to empty the milk storage tanks and to take the milk to a dairy processing plant where it is pasteurized and bottled. At every stage, milk goes through strict quality controls to ensure that it's fresh, safe, and wholesome. The pasteurization process begins once the milk has passed strict quality and safety tests. Pasteurization involves heating the milk to destroy any harmful bacteria while still retaining the important nutrients. Milk is also homogenized and separated. That gives milk its smooth, consistent taste and various fat levels. It is then bottled as a fluid milk product and leaves the processing plant in a refrigerated truck, which delivers the milk to a store near you. From start to finish, most milk travels a short distance from the farm to you. 
But don't forget about other dairy foods. Some of your favorites, like cheese, yogurt, butter, and ice cream, also come from dairy farms. As you've seen, a lot goes into producing great tasting milk, and modern dairy farms continue to make improvements. But even as some technologies change, the values of New England dairy farmers remain the same. It's been a really nice way to grow up with all of, all of your family around all the time. I see my grandparents every day here and, and my brothers and, and my father. My grandfather instilled in me and my brothers of how to treat the land well because what you put in is what you're going to get out. He was a big steward, very concerned with conservation, and he felt like if you can treat the land the way it should be treated, they will treat you in return. New England dairy farmers are stewards. They take care of their land and their animals, and they take great pride in what they produce for their families and yours. Growing up on a dairy farm is amazing. I don't think I would have it any other way. It teaches you a good sense of work ethic and to work for what you have. It gives you a strong sense of responsibility. I find the thing I like the most is working with the animals. I do love what I do. Um, it is hard work, but it's also gratifying. I wouldn't do anything else. I love it. I, my family is, has grown to love it. And I, no, I wouldn't do anything else. Show your support for New England Dairy Farms by enjoying three servings of dairy every day and by purchasing New England Dairy Foods. We hope you've enjoyed learning more about dairy farms and how milk gets from the farm to you.